Okay guys, we're gonna get you started with the hyperspin pack from start to finish. Should take you only like 10 minutes. Really simple. There's only like six steps here. So go to hyperspin on the play store and install it onto your shield. You can go on the device or go on their website, install it through the web app and you can just select the correct device. Okay. So now you have Hyperspin installed. Take the pack. You're going to extract the Hyperspin folder straight into the root of whatever storage drive you're going to choose. So if I was going to do it on the main internal, I'll put it right there. Hyperspin. If you're going to put it in the external, boom. Hyperspin. Drop it right there. Now, if you cannot see your shield on the network and it doesn't show up like how it does here then you need to go in here right click on the bottom left corner apps and features now open up programs and features turn windows features on and off smb1 smb direct turn those on install that close this up boom okay then you should be able to see the shield on your network. As long as you have the setting turned on on the shield, you'll see it. Okay, so now that you have the file extracted to the internal drive, you have the hyperspin folder right here. You're going to want to install all the emulators that are in this folder here, except for the play release. And then once you've done that, you are going to want to download some Dreamcast BIOS files or, you know, obviously you own them already. So you just put them in this folder named specifically DC underscore boot dot bin, DC underscore flash dot bin. Make sure it's all lowercase, exactly spelled that way in this data folder. Then you're going to want to... Um, point raycast emulator to this dc folder and not the data folder so point it to the dc one okay so moving on you're going to go into retro arc and you are going to update the atari lynx handy core that's the core you need to run the atari lynx okay now then the next step is to go through all the emulators that you installed and make sure they all work with your controllers. So uh, go into each one, set them up, make sure it's working. And then that's it. Go to Hyperspin, launch it, and it should start and then uh, launch each game. All right, hopefully that helped you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the other side.